Welcome all of my beautiful Leos and also all of you wonderful cross watchers who have came to my channel Cosmos and Spread. My name is Michelle Rogers, also known as the Paranormal Experiencer. Um, a few things before we begin. Um, there are a lot of scammers who are portraying to be those of us in the readings community. Um, so here are some ways that you will know that you are being scammed because that is the last thing that I want for you beautiful souls, okay? Um, so, first of all, all of my social media accounts, the links are below in the description and also if you go to the about section, um, they will be listed there as well. Um, I will never solicit my services to you. Um, it will be upon you contacting me first, and at that point, then I will get back with you. Now, but here's something else. Um, I only need your first name. I will never need to know your last name, your birth date, your address, or any other information about you, okay? Because simply put, God knows who you are. All I need is your first name. That's it, okay? So if someone contacts you saying that they are me, and please know that uh, if they if you're being asked to give any other information than a first name, you will know you are being scammed. Okay. All right. Moving along, and as I mentioned, I'm also known as the paranormal experiencer. If you're interested in the paranormal, um, true stories of my life, um, spiritual awakening, um, ET communications, and so forth. I do have an alternate channel. The link is also in the description below. Again, that is The Paranormal Experiencer. Okay, and please remember that this is a general reading for Leos, okay? Um, take what resonates, okay, and what doesn't, please leave for someone else. And also keep in mind that if you combine your sun, moon, and rising signs, uh, together you will be able to have a more clear picture of what is to come in the next six to eight weeks okay all right here we go my beautiful leos holy spirit holy angels holy guides and all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth i ask that you please give clarity understanding and wisdom to be able to communicate clearly the messages that you are bringing forth for our lovely leos for Leo's highest good, please. Thank you, Spirit. May these crystals fall where they need to. For Leo, July 2021. Thank you, Spirit. I activate this crystal grid with love and truth. I activate this crystal grid with love and truth. I activate this crystal grid with love and truth. Thank you, Spirit. When I say Spirit, please know I am speaking of the Holy Spirit. And I also communicate only with the highest divine of love and truth. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and begin with what came through prior to this reading. Um, Leo. So, first of all, what I saw <clears throat> was this big, beautiful orb of bright white light okay but the thing is the light was coming down as if it was crashing so if you would if you could think or imagine um uh some type of meteor or a spacecraft or, or something um large and round falling from the sky and just it's going so fast okay and it's just crashing now the thing is what i feel from this is is this is spirituality okay itself this is um, a feeling of maybe you're not moving along and you know on your course to enlightenment or waking up more the way that you maybe had planned to or thought you would as quickly okay there may have been in the past few weeks there may have been some kind of stagnancy there but then but then Okay, here's where it all turns around. Um, a male spirit guide came to me and said, building a confidence in yourself. Okay, so I feel like when that took place a few weeks ago, that, and some of you may still be coming out of that as we speak, I feel like spirit saying, 
Um, once you come out of that, that you're going to start beginning to realize that your gifts never left, okay? Your ability to con to connect to God and the, the beautiful Holy Divine never left, okay? It was just a fact that, that it's just a, you are in a stagnant place, okay, in your life. And there were lessons, there were things that you had to learn during that phase. It was almost like you were forced to rest. You were forced to go into a hermit mode, okay? You were forced to um, be in a place of, of stagnancy for a while because there were things you needed to heal. There were things, lessons that you needed to learn to move forth, to be able to build this confidence in you that you may have lost, okay? There may have been, you know, because Leo, I mean, you got to think about this. You are strength. You are the definition of strength, of body, mind, spirit, okay? You are very courageous, and you are an overcomer, okay? But I feel like from what was brought forth so far that in the recent past that you have, um, you know, something, something has taken place in your life. You know, of course, it's not going to be the same for every Leo. Um, different situations, but um, something has taken place, okay, and it, you know, it could have made you feel um, at a loss somehow, or there may have been some kind of new change that was taking place in your life, and maybe you, maybe you just simply felt overwhelmed, you know, um, but it, it could have brought you to a state of feeling like the more you try to move forward, the more you are... Um, uh, stagnant okay like you, you just can't um, and then all of a sudden you begin to come out of that and realize that okay wait a minute things aren't as bad as I thought I never really did lose connection I am spiritually growing and I was spiritually growing through this it's just I needed to heal this part of my life or I needed to learn a lesson in this part of my life to move forward, okay, into a new chapter. Okay, so with that, I'm going to, oh, sorry, I did not mean to bump that, my lovely Leo. Okay, I'm going to begin with a few cards just to feel the current energies for my beautiful Leos. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, and all that are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please give me information for Leo's current energies for the month of July 2021, please. What energies does Leo have? What situations does Leo have right now? What energies? Thank you, Spirit. I would like to also uh, tell all of my beautiful subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. That It just really means the world to me. Um, I'm living my calling, and I'm just, I'm truly grateful to you each and every one. All of the likes, the shares, wh whatever that it is that you're doing to help support my channel. Also, thank you for each of you who are visiting my channel. Definitely appreciate each and every one of you. And I send each of you much, much love. Thank you, Spirit. This one? Yes. More from this deck? No. Thank you. Ooh, okay. We have Envy. Okay. My lovely Leo. This is the number 20. I ask everyone to please uh, search your number meanings as well using your intuition, okay? I'm going to give you the number 2 meaning, okay? But if you will look those up online, again using your intuition, this will give you a, an even clearer picture. Okay, this is this is the high priestess. Okay, this is 
This is justice, judgment, okay? This is having options about something, having to choose something or contemplating something. Planning something. This is duality, the yin and the yang, okay? Reflection. Yes, okay, so that came forth um, prior to your reading. A time of reflecting, okay? Some type of conflict. This can be an internal conflict with uh, your spirituality, with your uh, emotions. This can be a physical conflict of some type. With yourself or with someone else or a group of people. Or, or it could be even be like a workplace. This is like a test of patience, okay? To be able to find balance within a situation. Learning to be cooperative, okay? So, <clears throat> definitely I feel like for many of you, This is a situation of being in that hermit mode, okay? Being in that most recent stagnant, stuck feeling, okay? Looking out, because if you see this lady, okay, she is looking out. It's, it's really dark in here, okay? So I really feel like Spirit's saying, you know, it, it's kind of like you could have you could have been even hard to walk around. Like it, it literally had its effects on you physically. Almost like a state of depression it might have felt like. Okay? Like you might have even, just to walk from the couch to the kitchen, um, you may have felt some type of weight weighing you down, weighing your body down somehow. Or it could could be could have been repetitive thoughts um, that you try to you know you think you've forgiven or you have forgiven with someone, but the thoughts just keep returning back in your mind. It's like things that you don't want to think about, but spirits saying you know, these are things that you need to heal, okay? Because there's that darkness here, okay? Healing needs to take place. And then I feel like also because this, this lady is looking out and you see how gold and bright that it is outside, okay? So this lady's looking with envy, wanting to be back in that place, okay? Wanting to, I feel like the lady was there, okay? She was experiencing, uh, <clears throat> how can I say this? She was experiencing, um, Wonderful, beautiful things, okay? And then all of a sudden, it's like she's trapped. She's trapped in here. And no matter which way she tries to um, get out, even though the door's open, okay? And she can clearly see out here. But she's not, she's looking out here. She's not looking within, within her own um, chambers, okay? And seeing what needs to be healed what she needs to face in here first before she can have the courage to step back through this door okay so i definitely feel like thank you spirit i definitely feel like this lady <clears throat> is needing to do this healing and once she does she's going to be easily be able to walk through this door. It's like I have a feeling like this door is just going to completely open up. And if you can see, there is a lot of like spiritual light, bright light around this lady. Okay. So again, that's what I um, I felt in the beginning was many of you may have felt like your spirituality have had left. Maybe you weren't connecting. Um, to consciousness the way you had prior to this event um, but it's spirit saying you know I never left you I have been right here with you all along it's just you know you were in this place 
and you had to have this healing first before, you know, you had to learn these lessons. So before you, I can help you to move forward, okay, for your purpose. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Spirit, what else would you like to, okay, thank you. Yeah, Leo, I want you to look at something, okay? I have two candles that have just went out, okay? This one and this one, all right? Yes, I do believe that it is a sign because, yeah, this one could have went out. This one is nowhere near ready to go out, the one back here, okay? So, again, I feel like many of you thought or felt as if you were not connecting, um, spiritually the way you had been prior to whatever event occurred in your life okay Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, and all that are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please show our beautiful Leos what is the current energy of this situation, stepping out of this situation for the near future, please. Okay, here we go. Surrender your attachment to results. I'll show you this card and then I'll read it to you. I don't know how clear it's coming through the screen. Okay. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Okay, and that can actually lead you into... The same thing that we're talking about right here, okay? Like pushing and pushing and pushing. And w when it's come to the point of you have done, you've taken action on something. Let's say you're trying to create a new business. You've taken action on something and you continue to push and push and push, okay? So then... Um, it can come to a point actually that or that's when you're only thinking about that situation and you're not thinking about taking care of yourself, giving yourself care, giving your family care, your relatives, your um, those who are your loved ones who are in your, your circle and you begin to um, only focus on what this is that you're man trying to manifest at that point. Um, you can begin to start pushing that manifestation away, okay? So it can actually either not manifest at all or take a lot longer to manifest in your life. But if you can learn to, okay, I'm going to do everything that I possibly know to do and then I'm going to give it and put it in God's hands and the Holy Divine. I'm going to trust that Everything that I have done, I have taken action on to the best of my ability. And now I'm going to give it over, trust and have faith. And now I'm going to have fun. I'm going to stay grounded. I am going to um, do, do things that also make me happy and stay balanced within my life. Okay, and at that point is when things actually begin to start manifesting. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. More cards from this deck, Spirit? No, thank you. Okay. Let's see if Spirit wants any more cards before we proceed to the Crystal Scry. More cards, Spirit? Thank you.
please know that I have already prayed over this reading, prayed over the cards, cleansed my space. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, and all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth, what guidance would you like to give our lovely Leo for the month of July 2021, please? Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, three, shot out. Don't know if you caught it on camera. All of these, yes, okay. More cards from this deck, yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What would you like to tell? Thank you. This one? Yes. More cards from this deck? No, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we will start with this one. Okay, this is the number seven. Yeah, so see, here's the chariot. Okay. Now, um, this says... An impatient achievement. I'm sorry, not impatient. An important achievement. Okay? It's self-discipline and willpower. Public recognition. Now, here's the thing. Now, <clears throat> remember that the ball come crashing down. Okay? And having to go into that, that phase of like a hermit mode. Having to reflect back on... You know whatever this past situation was okay and then during that time again that is when you when you're as you're coming out of it that you're beginning to see that um, the meaning of it okay um, healing from it or learning that lesson you're getting that spiritual growth within that time okay you're learning the self-discipline and the being given the willpower okay to try to push through this this stagnancy okay and then all of a sudden you have this chariot that just swoops in and says okay I've got you okay The number seven is a very, very beautiful card. I love the number seven. It's a very spiritual card. But it also entails having to face difficulties, okay, to heal them. It's energies that must be dealt with that are beyond our control, okay? Prior to this chariot coming in and swooping you up. This is overcoming. This is you, Leo. Okay? Being that overcomer. This is this is a lot of wisdom coming through here, okay? See being able to see the bigger picture. And a lot of times, I mean, I'm telling you from my own experience, I mean, it's it's hard. When we're in the middle of a situation, it is hard to look outside and see the big picture because all you can see in the moment is that moment. And it can feel, feel overwhelming. But this is abundance getting ready to flow freely into your life, okay? And it doesn't have to be just money. I'm, when I say abundance, that, that's the energy of... Of abundance so that can be you know lots of love coming your way lots of assistance coming your way um, and it can be money okay but it could be prosperity success okay it could be a new job opening for you or moving higher up in a position or starting that new business that you've been thinking about but this is also about learning new skills okay and developing your spirituality which is a big part of this past situation, or again, those of you who are just now stepping into this. And throughout this, you'll be able to use this experience um, to move forward in your life. Because this is gonna help you to, um, as you go into the next chapter, um, of your life, you're going to be able, you're going to ha be faced with new opportunities, and you're going to know that if this situation arises again, you're going to know what didn't work, so that you can use that 
um, to your advantage. Okay, next time around. Very nice. Okay, the next meaning we have the nine of fire. Yeah, a definite shakeup. Okay, this says don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Now, what did Spirit say here? Building a confidence in yourself. Very, very, very beautiful. Okay, so here's the number nine. That shakeup that I was talking about, okay, that tower crashing down and having to take the time to reflect and heal. Well, right here it is, okay? This isn't the tower itself, okay? That's actually number five, but this is a number nine, so this relates to the number five. Now, let me explain. <clears throat> so, let's say you're in chapter nine of a book and you have a few more sentences to go before you're done with that chapter, okay? So, it's like being in that point in your life, okay? And let's say number nine's a rough one, okay? Number nine is full of what seems to be bad experiences and, and, you know, all kinds of things happening just, you know, right and left, every which way you turn, you know, just feeling like, oh my goodness, could anything else happen? And you don't even want to ask that, right? You're even scared to say something like that because it's been so overwhelming, okay? <clears throat> but... The beautiful thing about this is you only have a few sentences left. This cycle of your life is completing, okay? Number nine, it's like that is a completion of, of uh, this cycle, okay, that you've been going through. Of, and this cycle, this chapter nine has been all about all kinds of learning, beautiful things. Even though it doesn't seem like it. It's all about spiritual growth, okay? Because you're getting, Spirit's getting ready to bring you into something like transform you or transmute you into something more beautiful, um, bringing out your abilities in this next new chapter, bringing more um, opportunity than you even thought was imaginable, you know, a few months ago. And this is also, you know, this is what forces you to go into this, this hermit mode to go within and reflect, okay? Because when you're in that ninth, ninth chapter, it forces you, it's like you cannot finish reading those last two sentences, okay? You have to go back and you have to look over chapter nine. And for many of you, it may even take you back to chapter one, okay? reflecting, looking at it in an observer type sense, okay, and saying, okay, this traumatic thing happened in my life, okay, um, what did I learn from that? Um, and if there's forgiveness that needs to be done, Spirit's saying this is a time, because remember, this is the darkness, okay, so it's like there's some, if you need for, to forgive someone, not because you're saying that it's okay for someone to hurt you in any way, it's not that. Forgiveness is setting our souls free, okay, so we can move on and be happy. That's for us, not for anyone else. So, if there's healing that needs to be taken place, whether it was in chapter 1, chapter 7, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, during this situation, you may be forced to look back, okay, at different situations in your life and say, okay, I need healing from this. So, since I can't really do anything right now, I'm stuck, um, then I, I'm going to make sure that I am focusing myself on healing these things, okay? And so that, you know, that's when the great healing and learning these lessons and also looking at your beautiful accomplishments and bringing all that together forward. Remember, as an observer, okay, not to go back and get stuck in these situations um, mentally. It's, it's a thing of just... You know, trying to look on the sidelines and saying, okay, this happened. This is how it affected me. Now I'm going to heal. I'm going to really begin to heal from this. Okay. Um, and then taking all that wisdom and knowledge on into chapter 10. Okay. Okay. And then the next card. Oh, uh, yeah. See? Ten of fire, okay? You had chapter nine, and now you're going and moving into chapter ten. Here you go. You cannot make this stuff up, okay? So the chapter ten, this is like ultimate completion, okay? This is this is the point where you have went through chapter nine, 
you have finished those last two sentences. You have reflected on your your uh, past situation, and for many of you, went all the way back to the very first chapter, okay? And then, all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, you're stepping into the new, the beautiful, the, you know, you, you have learned so much, even though it may have felt so hard to do, okay? But, but with that, now you have this courage, you have this new strength within you to motivate you to just continue to move forward now and know that your life, your this new, um, this new uh, chapter in your life that's coming in is going to be full of so much more beauty and opportunities for you, okay? And this card says, um, now this one says, too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So what I feel like this is saying, okay, is basically, okay, you're beginning this new chapter, and for many of you, you may have many, many, like multiple opportunities coming in at one time. Now, this could be um, multiple different job opportunities coming in at once. This could be a multitude of people coming at you at one time, you know, wanting your attention or but somehow it can make you feel like busy, 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 okay? And it can be overwhelming. And you have to be good to yourself. You have to think you just came out of this, okay? You're still in the healing process when you walk through here. There are a lot of things, right? We're going to be trying to heal the rest of our lives. It doesn't mean that, that it's just gone in an instant. That's not how it works. That's not reality in human form. Okay, in, in, on this planet, it's, that's just not how it is. You know, some of us, there are things we may never heal from, okay? But the thing is, it's the process of healing, okay? It's taking the action, wanting to heal, that, and, and, and working on that, okay, the rest of our lives, and trying to see um, who we can forgive, what situations can we forgive, okay? It's that learning unconditional love and learning that to love ourselves enough and to forgive ourselves you know when we look back as well okay and we also have here the queen of earth yes thoughtful creative warm sensible very beautiful it says make time for those around you so here's that balance coming back in okay um take a sensible approach Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay. So very, very, very good. So it's kind of like, basically, you have been told a little story here in a timeline by Spirit. This is very beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'm going to relight these candles. And uh, so we will pretty much be in the dark. Um, other than some very dim lighting and we're going to begin to crystal scry. Okay, my lovely Leo, give me just a moment to line up to the crystals, please. <sighs> holy Spirit, holy angels, holy guides, and all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please show me, tell me, or both. What does Leo need to know for their current and near future July 2021, please? How can we help guide Leo? Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify. Okay, yeah. I see a child, um, and the mouth, I, I know many of you have probably seen a cartoon where they um, have the mouth drawn, looks like a donut, like they're like, oh, oh. Okay, so that's what I saw, um, and any time that I see that, that's telling me that there's some kind of shock or surprise, okay, and the fact that this is a little girl um, is telling me this is, you know, someone that's needing to um, connect with the inner child, so again, that's going within, okay, and healing something or releasing something that no longer serves you, okay, thank you, Spirit, please continue, what does Leo need to know? For current and near future, do July 2021, please, Spirit. Mm -hmm. I see a huge cat. I feel like, and the cat is actually standing on two feet, okay? Two paws. 
the back too. So <clears throat> this looks like a big mountain lion, okay? Now Leo, you need to think about this, okay? Um, this cat is standing upright, okay? And what did Spirit say in the beginning, okay? Building a confidence in yourself, okay? So it's almost like a an issue of some kind of surprise happening, being shocked about something, or not expecting something to turn out the way it did. But then, through that experience, okay, you come out of that like this mountain lion, okay? You come out of that standing tall and brave and courageous, okay, and very wise, all right? So, that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Please continue. Uh, please show me, tell me, or both. What does Leo need to know? How can how can you give guidance, please, for Leo? July 2021, please. Okay, and so get this. Now I see the face of another mountain lion. So there's two. So that's just the confirmation. Spirit is saying, yes, you are regaining your confidence back. After going through this storm, you are gaining your confidence back, my beautiful Leo, okay? You are um, building your confidence in yourself, okay? And, it, and try to look at this past situation that you have been going through as... Um, a way of being molded, okay, be prepared for this beautiful new beginning, this beautiful new chapter that you're beginning to walk into, okay, and you're going to be able to walk through this next chapter strong and bold, okay, courageous, being very self-confident. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to back away from the crystals now, and I'm going to pause the video, and we will wrap this reading up with a few more guidance cards. We'll be right back. Okay, my beautiful Leo Spirit, <clears throat> while I was turning the lights back on, also um, came through and explained something else to me that needs to be brought forth. When I saw the second... Uh, mountain lion. This mountain lion was on all four paws walking. So that's also another um, symbolization of movement forward. Okay. Now it was walking steadily. It wasn't running. Okay. It was walking. So that's very, very important to understand for your near future as well. Okay. Spirit, what last guidance would you like to give our lovely Leos for July 2021, please? Thank you. Leo, you got this. Do you understand me? You have got this, okay? You are not alone in this. Just remember... Once this has come to completion, okay, and you begin chapter 10, you will be standing tall. Spirit, what last bit of guidance would you like to give our beautiful, lovely Leos for July 2021? Thank you. This one, Spirit? Yes. Okay. More from this deck? Yes. This one, I feel it. Yes. Okay, Spirit, more from this deck. No, thank you. Okay, this one first. This says, unfurl to new beginnings. See? Cannot make this up. Unfurl to new beginnings is exactly what has already been presented here. Okay, what Spirit has already said is just a confirmation. Okay, just allow this process, just allow it to unfold, okay? And this is peace, love, and faith. There you go. 
peace, love, and faith is knocking on your door. Okay? Just go through this process. Allow it. Okay? Do what you need to do to heal. To forgive. Okay? To be able to move forward. And then look what you're walking into. An abundance of peace, love, and faith. Look at that. These little birds, they're white. That's a symbolization of purity. Of spirit. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you, spirit. Okay, I'm going to get a symbol charm. Holy Spirit, what symbol would you like to give before we close this reading for Leo? For the month of July 2021, please. This one. What is this? Oh, okay. This is a heart. Okay. Now, if you can look, I don't know how clear this is. Okay. It says, yes, yes in this corner, maybe in this upper corner, and no at the bottom. Okay. So again, that's the contemplation. Um, the number two in the very beginning. Okay. That's like contemplating something. Maybe um, which path should I take? How do I go about this? And the Spirit's saying, you know what? You're going to make the right choice. Okay? All you have to do is trust and have faith. Remember, surrender your attachment to results. Okay? Do what you can. Put it in God's hands. And once you hand that over, you can't keep going back to it. Because if you do, that's just saying, well, I don't, I don't have trust and faith. Okay? When you put it over to God's hands, leave it and know without a doubt that the Holy Divine are taking care of this behind the scenes for you, okay? And in the meantime, go on about your life, you know, do things that make you happy, okay? Take care of yourself. Find your balance in your life, okay? Find what, do what makes you happy and stay grounded and you will begin to see things to start once you learn to stop holding on so tightly what it is you're trying to manifest okay you'll begin to notice that things just start flowing okay so with that my lovely leos i wish you much much love and i send you many 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 hugs and um, much healing okay i love each and every one of you many blessings bye bye